My name is Rhapsody and welcome back to Renowned Explorers International Society. We have time to start a new campaign. Now Charles Templeton we got and he wants to go with Dolores or Hatis, but we've had those before. Aggressive Devious Crew is what he wants. Hmm. He's acquiring a specialist entourage will give your campaign token a random improvement. So we want more campaign tokens. Interesting. She's aggressive devious. We'll take Molly Jones. And I think Earl was aggressive devious. Yeah, he is. Rogue, engineer, diplomat, survivalist. Seems a really good idea. Aggressive, devious, perfect. We'll do it. Wait, defensive, you're a brawler scout and you're a glass cannon. Well, we have two glass cannons. And we have a defensive speaker. Okay. We're going to lose to resolve pretty easily. But if we're not losing resolve, we're going to instantly white matches. We're going to just brutally destroy our opponents. Okay, time for adventure. Okay. Um, go here, 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 down. Giant tunnel entrance. We decide to go in. Earl studies the drill and gets the engineer perk steam machines. Well, uh, excellent. That's pretty fucking good start right there. I don't think we have anyone that can do this. Keep listening. Okay, push the heavy statue of Tyr. No one can do that. Reconsider. Go to the monastery's basement. And Molly can attempt the trial. Intimidate the hooded man. I'm gonna do that. I've never done that before. That ferocity, that anger. So intimidating, Tyr would almost certainly like you, although he likes these tests more. Show me your worth, and the man walks into the monastery. Uh, cool. <laughs> I did not know that could happen. You thank the old man, and you take your treasure. Awesome. Bend an old shack, search the shack. There was some jewelry left behind. Uh, punch him and take some of his harvest, or take some of his harvest and run or help the farmer. Punch him and take some of his harvest. <laughs> uh, Charles tells the other that a diplomatic solution is also an option in some of these encounters. I liked that one more, though. Earl studies the battlefield, comes to an interesting co conclusion. That can happen. Let's try it. Ah, uh, never mind. Okay, Earl doesn't draw conclusions. Giant Thistle Spear, which we collect. There's a Zero Link here as well. That's nice. Let's go. Let's fight these sheep. Fight me, you sheep nerds. They are friendly and... Oh, we get study for doing it, though. Okay, I guess we have to resolve it friendly, then. Because we get so much for it. Well, we can try and resolve it devious. I think we have to resolve it devious because I can kill them instantly in devious. Although I'll have a bad mood by doing it, it's not that bad. Oh god, they both have melee on those abilities. Damn it. Malay as well. Mm. Well, this is annoying. Well, this was gonna go a lot better. All right, I'll just kill this one. <sighs> and turn. They come over, pick a flower up, and then. Hey, I love you. I almost feel bad for slaughtering one of you. Almost. Terrify. We are the bully. And terrify. Perfect. Sheep is absolutely terrified of your crew. We resolve it in that way. We successfully calm down the sheep and we can look at the grass. There is some specific 
Oh, sorry, special nutrients. We take some of it for scientific value. Uh, take the bribe and let them blast. No, decline and stop them. Stand your ground, thieves. Oh, I didn't level anyone up again. Damn it. I knew someone needed to be leveled up outside of that battle. Aggressive. Oh, perfect. It's the only way I'd plan to resolve it anyway. versus aggressive. <laughs> I mean, guess we'll resolve this one aggressive. Just because I can't really hit any of the other targets even if I wanted to go devious on the first hit. I can probably just knock this guy out with the first devious attack. Not turn the encounter devious and uh, collect my aggressive reward. Okay. Really? Wow, no one's actually got... Oh. Oh, you take extra damage to that. Uh, to enrage. Okay, that makes sense. I guess we may just continue rolling aggressive then. May as well. All hostile. And you. Perfect. Yeah. Uh -huh. So it looks like it, uh, succeeding on the adventure wheel is also experience. Seems pretty good. Angry mob finally catches up. They know about our good deed. El Shante. Survivalist navigation. I kind of want to get some survivalist. Those guy gains six attack when you're current. Wow, that's actually pretty good. I mean, you have to go survivalist when you get this. So you know what? I will go survivalist. Because she has to go survivalist when she... Uh, sorry, he has to go survivalist when he gets here because he already has steam machines. Um, we do want to level up diplomat, of course. Yeah. Because we already have a survivalist now. Yeah. Athlete or rogue... Flank and Shank, you get extra power when they're enraged. Well, you can enrage people. That's that's a pretty good combo right there. This enrages people as well. Wow, that is pretty damn good. And you've got Fierce Backstab when they have no friends nearby. Flank and Shank. Oh, Flank and Shank is this ability. Hang on. Uh, can only be used when a character is flanking the target. You flank a target when you and an ally are next to the target, but not next to each other. Okay, that makes sense. Rogue sneaking or athlete tenacious. You know what? I'm actually going to generalize in that as well. I think that might have been one of the mistakes I made in my last encounter, not generalizing in some of my things. I think I uh, go specific in one case, in the build that I make in town, and then generalize in my other things. Choose speech or attack. I mean, obviously attack, and I should put it on uh, Molly. Thank you. We're out of supplies. Molly is weakened by the lack of food. Found the hidden horde. Now, what are you getting us? Extra campaign tokens. Or acquiring a specialist entourage. So we want to acquire as many entourages as possible, which means we need as status as possible, and status is gotten from secrets. Oh, nice. This is actually going to be enough supplies to finish the mission. Some aggressive looking men. They're going to be a little saddened that they tried to fight me. I'm going to make sure of it. And 25% power while off cooldown. Oh, cool. It's going to be pretty powerful soon. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Go 
negative 25 speech defense. If I speech at him, he'll die. He's got no armor either. Okay, let's just roll our aggressive. And set her up for the kill next turn on another aggressive attack. Devious abilities now have more power. Oh dear lord, Mario dealt night damage to me. So I just need to not be fighting Cassandra. Don't want to fight Cassandra. Please don't make me fight Cassandra. Looks shocked every single time he kills someone. It's like, did I do that? How? I can't believe I did such a thing. Yeah, you did. You totally did, Urkel. Right, finish that, and we're done. Excellent. Some status to be gained here. Don't mind if we do. Um, sure. The highest peak. Decide to plant yourself. And I guess we have to lose some speech defense for it. But that's fine. As long as we don't talk to Cassandra. No, Cassandra. Oh, perfect. Perfect. No, our little explorers. We're up against Tommy. This is perfect. Resolve aggressive and he likes you. That's, I mean, I wasn't planning to resolve it any other way. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Then you shoot this guy. This is exactly what you want. The ability to just clear all the creeps in the first round. Well, many of the creeps at least. So now I've got to split up my targets, otherwise... Ooh, nice miss. I've got to split up my targets, otherwise I'll get hit by the AoE. But this is going to be a really good position to do my group insult. Oh, man. Hang on. Group insult goes through here. <laughs> Hang on. Hang on just one se Oh, what? He became enraged and left. Damn it. My amazing move is being defeated. Um, I moved too far. Whoops. <laughs> I did not need to move that far. Excellent, the AoE attack didn't do anything. I'll be able to use Flank and Shank, actually, in a second. I always wanted to be able to use that ability. So we are now flanking the target, so we get to roll it. So what have I done? I have applied an uh, armor reduction. Very nice. So it applies armor reduction. I've got to keep that in mind. We will go for another mission because it's only been 13 minutes. He's impressed by our skill. Uh, we're mighty warriors. Convince the locals. Convince the locals. Charles convinces the locals because he is a diplomat. Perfect. And I'm hoping that this resolves in status. Yeah, they're impressed with our skill and charm. We get six campaign. And we get the Saxon ring for eight campaign and two collect when spending insight with a tactician. Uh, beautiful. That's a pretty good end to our mission, to be honest. So now we want to get specialists. Mm -hmm. Just skip past all that. That's a lot of status in our first mission. We will take the Pinkerton thing. Okay, what is this uh, again? If you want to make the most of your actions in cities. Status, status, status. 
Uh, choose this field if you want to increase with status every time you enter a Wits Challenge. Get three Resolve for that. Four Barterer Helpers who give plus one supply capacity. Will be available in Stockholm. You can choose one Emotion to have a stronger effect. Every uh, bunch of stuff from... <sighs> what, really? That's kind of a shitty tree. But it will stack with our bonuses. We want more campaign tokens, really, is what we want. Those are encounter tokens. That just gives you plus five campaign for taking it. Plus two campaign when you do with the chosen attitude. And plus one for each expedition you complete. And I want to do that as early as possible if I were ever going to do that. I think I have to do history, actually. One inside every time I end a mission, and this. Which of these do I want? One insight, and one insight every single time I finish an expedition, so the earlier I get it, the better it is. Or plus two campaign every time. You know what, it's plus two campaign, of course. And we have to do it as aggressive. Yes. Perfect, that's fine. Got Stockholm. Let's take up a specialist. Right? A specialist entourage gives your campaign token a random improvement. Okay, extra study if you resolve the encounter. Yeah, sure, let's do ambassador. Uh, excellent. So we can get extra status or extra research or extra gold. Uh... Extra status so I can unlock more things? Hmm. I'm gonna actually go research. <sighs> okay. Now what have we got here? Rogue Mischief Surprise. And we gain collect whenever a rogue succeeds. You're a rogue. You've got... Merciless. Uh, so mischief we can actually give you. This is bluffing. Yeah, we can give you mischief. That's pretty good. Well, we've got survivalist spotting. Which is yours over here. So you you have to take survivalist spotting. So there's no reason to take this one. Uh, quick Thinker, Escape Artist, or Reflexes. We don't have any... Yeah, we don't have anyone with any of those. So we're definitely taking this guy. And... You're definitely taking... The Rogue Perk, Molly. She's going to learn... She knows Surprise, and she's going to have to take Mischief. Fine. Charles' influence has led to an old sailor friend to support your cause, gaining more gold for your camp... What? When did that happen? Oh, that was random, so it just did it automatically. We didn't have a choice in that one, unfortunately. Okay, gain an extra campaign if you resolve aggressive. Perfect, that's exactly what I want. An old butler friend has joined us. And now we don't really want to upgrade that again. It's pretty nice. I unlocked the lobbyist by this, I believe? Yeah, I did. I definitely should have done this before I did the other one, because I just got a bunch of <laughs> campaign tokens from this, which would have been more powerful after these. Oh well. I screwed up the ordering there, that's fine. My bad. Advanced tools. Do you have advanced tools? You don't. I may want to just give you a wrench then. Make you a higher level of engineer. Survivalist Navigation, shit, but you... Oh, you already have Survivalist Navigation, perfect, doesn't matter. Uh, then I'll upgrade these, and I'll try and get the good boots for the Scout. Because I think they're really important. And I can't get her decent gloves, unfortunately. Can't get decent armor for someone, but if I got good armor on... Uh, you know what, I'll just hold off on the upgrades right now. And we'll just go on another expedition. That seems pretty much well sorted to me. So we're aggressive and devious, so I think we go here, right? 
expecting nature challenges and technique challenges. We have an engineer, we have a rogue, so perfect. We're set for technique. We don't have a tactician, which is going to be annoying in the final encounter. But an aggressive ag approach should make this easier. We're aggressive. This seems where we want to go. Uh-huh. Place near a waterfall. And then we open with a fight. They come running in. Best of luck. Resolve aggressive. Yes, I think we'll resolve aggressive. Okay. They get a small debuff. Sure. Easy. Just move to the one that I'm certain to kill. Plus now my most defensive member is the one facing this one up here. Which means I'm almost certain to have him get hit. Perfect. He's got armor, he can take it. Come on, and shank him. Flank and shank. I love it. I'm going to have to focus a lot more on using that in opportunistic situations. Smugglers are out of the way. Got to make sure. 14. Okay, they're relatively close to the same levels. I'll have someone upgrade themselves here. Cryptic knowledge to increase someone. Okay, you have tiny speech defense, but huge grit. I'm going to give Charles the speech defense. Okay, I'll loop around in this direction because I want to go to all of these. Yeah, Earl makes something useful and gets a tool. This is a zero... This is zero link to so many different things. Molly tries to steal some loot, of course. Again, there's so many things that I can do as these characters, so... Ooh, lighthouse. Molly passes as a smuggler, and we want campaign tokens, always. Zero loot back here. We don't have an archaeologist, but we do have a diplomat. Uh, uh, Earl finds a mechanical secret in the fort. The tunnel is unique, but disturb- Oh my god, we got two discovery for that. That's pretty fucking big. Um, damn it. Alright, I'm going to roll a tool on this. I don't want to lose two supplies. Not right now. Nice work, Earl. Tactician, Beguiler. I did that wrong. Molly tells an impressive lie because she's a rogue. Oh, fuck. I have made some horrible mistakes in the way that I've been traversing this map right now. Uh, look at the equipment on sale, actually. We can take something because we have 50. Caribbean dagger, Caribbean... I'm gonna take the dagger. It's plus two attack power, plus five grit. Cool, look at the regular wares, and I'll actually... Stock up. Lose some resolve for it, but that's fine. Upgrading item shops now costs less gold, or six... Yeah, when we're aggressive, perfect. Because that's going to happen almost all the time. Now, I want to actually go to everyone's inventory. This is a... Where does this go? No. Excuse me? Because... Can you not hold it? Type. Offense. Yeah. Plus... Yeah. Can I not... Why can he not... Why can you not... Up? Oh, what? There we go. Okay, yes, it works. Fine. Uh. Oh. We are running low on supplies, though. I want to go to this. Oh, perfect. Gear improvement. And it will improve attack and armor, but only for this mission, Charles. 
The Smuggler's Secret. Let's take a look. Seems you're already famous here. I do want campaign tokens. A ship is there. Do I want to make a raft? So I've got an engineer to do that. Steal a boat and head there and game to the smugglers. Uh... I think making a raft is probably the easiest one. Yeah, Earl builds the raft 100%. Unfortunately, this means it's study-based. Earl climbs inside the porthole. Quickly go back. There's a bunch of hostages there. Molly takes the oars. Oh, well. 50% chance. Oh, God. Whew. I didn't want to start this encounter in a negative fashion. Great. Charles makes it clear you won't stand for this. And Charles gets ambushed before the encounter starts. So he'll start on lower HP, but we'll be fine. Cool. We totally just go aggressive then. So we turn the mood aggressive. Sorry, uh, defensive, rather. Instantly kill someone with flank and shank. That was stupid. I moved too far away. Turn the encounter aggressive. Powering up Devious Bows. Opponent reinforcements arrive. Okay. Interesting. Oh, shit. They're rolling Devious. Hmm. <laughs> Thank you for rolling aggressive. That would have been annoying if you just continued rolling Devious. Oh, cool, you can't flank and shank, really? It's kind of annoying. Mm-hmm. And move you through here. Go for the punch. I don't know if this ends the fight. I think I might have to finish the reinforcements as well. No, no, I don't. Just finishes the fight. Perfect. Smuggler's defeated aggressively. Earl is pretty happy about it. You can see by the smug look on his face. Great, time to see what we got. Charles recognizes one of the hostages. And it is uh, Donvers Ovelier. A new member for your entourage. Excellent. We got a lobbyist. Perfect. I like lobbyists. Uh, Molly can't wait to brag about how she encountered a black flag ship and defeated the captain. Molly, you... Extra power when they're enraged or extra power when they have no friends nearby. Enraged. Because we're going to enrage them constantly as a setup for that, basically. Go here for the supplies. Ooh, dear lord. This is unfortunate. Um. Well, Earl, come on. 55. Two supplies. Please, 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 please. Yes! Whew. That was so important. Um. All right, I'm gonna try it. Damn it! All right, monkey, what up, Titan Ape? Let's see if we can do it. Titan Ape last time was pretty cool. It was not that difficult last time as well, but I believe I was a little more leveled up. I do want to get a little closer if I want to throw that. Because I can kill all of them with it. Very nice. I think this guy has an AoE, maybe? Can't recall. Um, sadly, I'm not flanking, so I can't go with the flank attack. So I'll just go with the standard. I really want to do the flank and shank, of course, because it is armor reduction. Although, he'll just beat his chest this turn. So I need to run away. Fuck, he's got a long range. Uh, you 
can get to there. So I want to go to, like, here. He has higher attack this turn. Don't want to have to deal with it. No, that's all gone now. Oh, fuck. I can't even get close to him, unfortunately. Not right now, at least. He can get close enough to Molly. It's annoying. I'm gonna move you here. No, I don't care about the moods. You here, and then... Fuck, Molly has to be here to be out of range. Did he do nothing? Really? He's just waiting for more people to be summoned. He's an annoying twat, is what he is. He'll sense if we're devious. But he takes super high damage to being impressed. I can impress at range. You know what? I'm going to try to impress them. This hasn't been off cooldown. It's fine. Roll another try to impress. Oh, remarkable. God, oh, beats his chest again. Come on. The amount of extra monkeys I'm just going to have to beat up is absurd. I really do have to move out of his range again. Fine, it's fine. As long as that's not an attack power debuff. I like that they're all stuck back here for a moment. Okay. Negative 25 armor. That's not that bad, to be honest. I would love to not have to be next to you, but... Guess I gotta be. Impress makes you negative 25 speech defense. Uh, I guess that doesn't matter. But confident does mean he has plus 25% attack power. That's pretty bad. No, I'm just gonna roll the attacks. Oh god, I should have done this, this one first. That was totally wrong. Of course you roll the one that breaks the armor first. This also breaks... God damn it. Um, Alright, I'm going to make sure that I draw aggro here then. He hates if we're devious, but... This isn't going to be devious enough. He draws aggro. He goes over. Nice thump. We should just be able to kill the titan now. Stop it. None of the other monkeys... Oh, wait, this one actually can get close enough for another attack. Damn. But it fumbles. And we don't really have to worry about the other ones, because we don't have to kill them. We just have to kill the Titanate. Otherwise, the encounter would never end, because there's so many reinforces. Good work. Uh, yeah! Epic encounter epically failed. And we're done. Titan Ape has been subdued and broken. We get the Titan Ape thing. Extra campaign, extra study. Mm-hmm. Stand our ground against monkeys. Fine, don't mind if we do. That should be super easy, actually. Really? They're directly behind us. Yep, they are just actually behind us. Well... Interesting. Uh, <laughs> hang on, hang on. Mm. 
this should work. You move here, then drop the bomb here, and then I should be able to flank and shank. Actually, I should have done it the other way again. Ugh. And then there's just two monkeys on the other side of the map. <sighs> Can they get in close enough? Oh, yep. Through the tree line. This one definitely can. Not. Definitely cannot. Sorry, you didn't let me finish my sentence. And we should be able to just shoot with Earl, right? Boom. Perfect. Nice encounter. Set up the armor debuffs and then just go for the kills. They have a small artifact. Oh, cool, we got an insight as well. Charles Templeton levels up. Group insult does extra power. No, it's it's group insecurity, of course. Ooh. Earl is far leveled above everyone else. Get Strike of Fear. Okay, so it is point around three. Oh, cool. Uh, target becomes terrified if it's negative. Giving it negative 25% attack. Affects all enemies within the target line. Stuns non-boss characters. Stuns non-boss characters. Wow. That's a pretty cool ability. Goes through the Caribbean jungle. Molly tries to climb up the ladder. Of course she does. Okay, uh, you're standing inside the treehouse, which is indeed abandoned. There is a big pile of rubble, a rug, and a small window. You are spot two wanted posters, one of a guy and one of a woman. Both are in Spanish. Let's examine the rubble. You see a skeleton lying underneath. He's holding onto something. There's a romantic letter in his hand. Oh. Look through the window. Get a clear view of the surroundings. And examine the rug. Try to open the safe. Of course, you're a rogue. Opens the safe and gets a small box of jewelry. You get a hidden jewel treasure, which is nice. Plus two campaign and plus four study. And we also got a treasure hunt. Out of supplies. Earl becomes frustrated with lack of food. All right, we just have to go to the final encounter then. Now, we don't have any tacticians to set up, unfortunately. Poor tactical defenses have led to a disadvantage. Don't set up camp. We just have to defend ourselves normally. Uh, golden... No, what are you giving us as a bonus again? Hmm, I guess I want study then. We get Roche's treasure. He hurls ticking time bomb towards us. So extra collect or extra study? Two study versus one collect. Okay, I'll go for the two study then. Perfect. We are keeping it cool. Kill this one. Probably didn't need to use flank and shank, to be honest. But we did anyway. Kill this one. Maybe thanks to the extra six attack that we have. Thanks to the mood being aggressive. Trying to ride this one. No, I'll deride later. Fisticuffs. reinforcements have arrived so we just need to kill the pirate boss here it's not that bad definitely not that bad um yeah i'd like to make someone confident okay try and make him confident increasing his attack power Excuse me. Go for the kill. And now we're all set up in pretty good defensive positions. Just wait. Wish I had Harry Walker. I love the focus. Focus is such a good ability.
Okay, you're going to go in close, trying to ride. She's weak too. And I'm going to have you go behind and do the fucking you can't do it, of course. I'm a dumb dude. Flank and shanks, not off cooldown. Turns out. That's fine. We'll still be able to kill him before the end of the next turn and shouldn't lose anyone. Yeah, especially considering he targets the one with armor. Nice work, buddy. See, if he went for that and hit, and she went for that and hit, well, then we might have had a problem. Uh, I just wanted to roll the devious ability. Okay. Let's move you in here. Go for the kill. Down from the sky. And we're done. Resolves aggressively, so we get all of the extra tokens. We make it out with Roche's treasure, which I think is treasure hunt again. Yeah, it is. We've got more campaign tokens than anything else, which is exactly what we wanted. And we can go back to town. So, let's watch the campaign tokens resolve. So this gives us some stuff. Kind of cool. Decent amount of stuff. Decent amount of stuff. Then this is buffing everything. <laughs> kind of ridiculously, actually. Very nice. That's a lot of fucking status, to be honest. That is a kind of incredible amount of status. Uh, okay, let's actually check this first. An extra token from every job you spend inside on the world map. So this is for research from encounter. Research from status. So I guess we're going psychology next, which means I want more things in Stockholm. Okay, so it doesn't matter which of these I take, I guess. Uh, do I want an equipment shop or an entourage? Oh, entourage hall, of course, because I need more. I, I need to get more specialists. That's the whole point of what I'm doing right now. Specialist level three. Upgrade again, specialist level four. Plus two campaign from spending insight in London. Or Athlete. You've got Athlete Tenacious. You're gonna get Athlete... No, you're not gonna get Athlete Tough. You don't have to. But I can give you Athlete Tough. So I can give you Athlete Smashing, actually. But this is extra campaign. Two campaign from spending inside in London. London is... Not great for anyone. It's a bit of collect. I don't know if that's going to be worth it, really. But campaign is... That's the whole point. I want the campaign to give me everything. That's why I've been going lobbyists everywhere I can. Okay, what have you got? Campaign when you enter a cultural challenge. So that's diplomat and archaeologist. I mean, I do always enter those. So I guess I am taking Sheikh Uthgan. <clears throat> Wants to teach one person diplomat generous. Sure. That goes to Charles. I didn't even notice that I was going to get that. Um, okay, let's upgrade this. Now, what else have we got? Two campaign whenever you enter a technique. We're always going to be doing that, so perfect. Uh, gaining more gold. Nice. Upgrade again. We just want all the specialists, really. Uh... Extra gold from campaign or extra research from campaign. We'll go research. Because we're already getting a lot of gold from campaign. And then I guess that means that it's going to be the better idea to go entourage, specialists, for and take the one that we can. So yeah, I'm totally fine with that now. More status from campaign. Nice. So look at this. We get 1 to 16 gold per collect. 
we get four to six research per study, and we get three to six research per campaign, 16 to 29 status, and eight to 16 gold. It's almost better than the originals. <laughs> ah, beautiful. Now we want to finish up our research. Definitely do these. Especially because we're finishing them early. And then 15 renown whenever you acquire a helper entourage. So that's fine. Uh, and then the next one I think I wanted to do was psychology. Yes, yes it is. Four barterer helpers will be available in Stockholm who give plus one supply capacity. Perfect. That's definitely something I'm going to want to pick up as soon as I can. Then gold is our final thing that we need to worry about. Hmm. You've got good boots and the Caribbean dagger. I think you really need to get your attack power up. So I'm going to actually upgrade this and get you master gloves. It's got war drums, makes everyone confident at the start. That's pretty good because I don't really give anyone confidence. Who do I want to make confident at the start though? Earl? I could make Earl confident at the start, but I think she might be the one that I want to make confident at the start. Molly. But Earl is ranged. Earl will always get a hit off in the first round. Hmm. He doesn't get terrified resistance from this? What's this? Why does he not get terrified resistance? He already has terrified resistance. Well, I guess that settles it. If I want to get the full bonus out of it, I may as well give it to Molly. Hmm. That's about all I'm comfortable doing right now. Uh, athlete Stamina? I could give her Athlete Stamina plus two attack power as well. All her terrifying abilities. She does have a terrify ability. Alright. That seems a pretty good idea. And that'll be it for this episode. My name has been Rhapsody. The name of the game has been... This has been an episode way too long. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourself. If you have... Please click like, it does help get my content out to new people. There's also a playlist in the description down below with all my content on the video game, Path, Breath, and Future. And hopefully we'll see you next time.